back to dialogues. Uh, so where did we leave off here? Um, so we were, we just built a, an XML uh, layout for our custom view. Uh, and again, here it is for your reference. Uh, if you if you want to cut and paste or at least to verify what uh, what we typed in together, I know it was a lot of typing. Um, so so it's pretty looking pretty good. And we went ahead and in, we went into code here, and we we took this guy and we made a builder. Uh, the builder was from Get Activity, and then I got a layout inflator. And it looks like I actually messed something up here. What this really should be um, is it's the activities. Uh, layout inflator that we need um, inflate and then I can go ahead and pop this guy in uh, that's really what I need it was giving me an error on that before and and that's why um, so we set our view um, we're gonna do some things let's see so let's get rid of this to do here what the to do is right now is actually to, to capture the different parts of it so we can we can listen to them uh, and then in the end uh, we're gonna do we're gonna handle the, the, the buttons All right. um, so let's let's talk about this. So as far as buttons go, we have a few different options. Um, so there are three of them that are sort of standard. There's a negative button um, that is really it's really a cancel button um, is, is used. A neutral one, which is optional, uh, kind of goes in the middle. And then there's a positive button, um, which is the OK button, uh, and it will put these in the right place. So so typically, if you have all three of them, they'll go in this order: cancels to the left, and then OK is way to the right. And you'll have the neutral one in the, in the middle. Uh, if we want to use that, uh, so let's let's go ahead and start to to do some of this. We want a positive and a negative button um, on this guy. So the negative button is actually the the easiest one to do. Uh, so we can say, "Hey builder, go ahead and set the negative button," and I give it uh, some text and a listener. All right. So the text uh, I can actually use, and this 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 may seem silly just for the for the word OK, but there's a built-in string for this. So instead of making my own OK string, I use android.r.string. Um, uh, let's see. So and it's okay. there it is. OK. Uh, all right. So then I'll just get, get the word OK showing up on there. Uh, for a listener, all I need is null, because if they click on it, it's just going to dismiss the dialog, and all's going to be good. How about the positive button? This is a little bit more interesting. Uh, the positive button, likewise, uh, there's, I just did that backwards, didn't I? Um, a negative button shouldn't say OK. A negative button should say cancel, right? It's, it's the positive button that should be, should be OK. Uh, so let's fix that. This guy, we want, <coughs> we want a, an on-click listener. All right, and you'll notice that when it stubs it in, it's actually not a view one. It knows it's smart enough to know that it needs the, the dialog interface on click listener within here. Uh, go ahead and put in that, that uh, semicolon at the end. And what we need to talk about is, is what happens on, on a click. All right, so uh, this guy is very much a to do. Um, once we've done that, then I'm going to stub in the rest of it while I'm thinking about it. Uh, so the dialog that I want to return, like we mentioned, is, is uh, that we can ask our builder to create a dialog for us, and it will return an alert dialog, which is a type of dialog. Um, so that's going to satisfy um, the return statement uh, within this method that I'm overriding. Um, so it's pretty good. Uh, so what's left? I need to capture the items, because when I click on them, when I click OK, essentially I want to extract all the information uh, from the edit text and from the calendar view, and I want to uh, make an item out of it and set it as the current item. All right. Uh, so we need to we need to grab grab that information. So the first thing is let's go ahead and grab each of the edit texts. So we had a name, edit text, um, edit text, find view by ID. Uh, now this is actually interesting. I'm I'm about to um, about to make a bug here. Uh, so r dot id dot and this was um, this was the the edit name. If I left it like this, it would get, and then I tried to use the name edit text, it would give me a null pointer exception. And um, I feel like I should I should even show you what's what's going on there. Um, well, let's 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 try it here. Uh, so string name is equal to name edit text. Notice it made it final for me. So pretty neat. Name edit text dot get text. 
and that returns something of type editable. Um, and then I need to call it to string on that. All right, so that's my name. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this as is and see what we get. All right, so it popped up. And let's go ahead and, and hit plus here. And so we want to add an item. So I want to say here I am in my quest for coffee. Uh, and I even think, hey, I'm going to get, get uh, two coffees here um, and deliver them today. Uh, and I click OK. And then I get, uh, I get an error, right? So it, it stopped. And if I go back to my app, um, and I go ahead and blow this, blow this guy up here. Uh, actually, not the event log, the way event log. Here we go. Um, so I'm in my monitor. And if I scroll up enough, I should see there it is, null pointer exception in main activity line 108. All right, and so we get a null pointer right here. So null pointer is, is either that get text is null or that name edit text is null. And I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's the name edit text that's null. I knew that this was going to happen. Uh, I did find view by ID. Now let's think about this. Find view by ID. Uh, whenever we've used it in the past, we've used it like up in, in on create. And we were calling it on the activity. The activity had just expanded, uh, set as the content view, um, some XML. And it, you know, it inflated that guy into code so it could find IDs that were made up there. However, in this case, it's totally different, right? We're not looking in the activity. And it's a little bit, it's, it's kind of, it's unfortunate that, you know, that it lets me complete this guy right here. But there is no edit name uh, inside find view by ID. What we're doing is we're finding the view within this view right here that we just inflated. So the, the proper way to do this is to say view dot find view by ID. And that's something you're just going to have to remember for, uh, for edit text um, to, to do it that way. Um, and if you forget, you'll get a null pointer exception, and then you'll, you'll know why, right? Uh, very good. So we have this right here. We just want to do the same thing for, the, for our other two widgets uh, so we can, so we can um, also uh, get the quantity and so on. So this is my uh, quantity, quantity, edit text, um, cast to an edit text, view dot find view by ID, r dot ID dot edit quantity. And then we also had our calendar view. So let's say calendar view. Uh, and what do we want to call this guy? I guess um, I guess this was our delivery date view. Calendar view view dot find view by ID because we're looking again within the within the dialog. R dot ID dot and I think I called this guy calendar view. Probably should have called it delivery date view. Um, so. Let's get there. All right, so we've captured those views. Now we can refer to them here down um, to make our item, right? So we, we got a name. Um, let's go ahead and grab. Uh, so we want an int, which is going to be our quantity. Quantity, um, which is going to be our quantity. Edit text, get text, to string. And then we need to convert this guy to a string. So we can either do a little sort of just concatenate on a, an empty string onto it, or you can do string dot, uh, uh, so value of, and you can pass it in um, something there. Uh, let's see, excuse me. Let's, let's do it the other way around. So I want integer dot um, parsint. I think that's, that's how I usually like to do that. <clears throat> string dot value of as well, and go in the other direction. Uh, very good. All right, so we'll, we'll parse that guy into an integer. Um, it has to give me an int because the, I only had it in our keyboard there. Uh, so what else do we got? So name, quantity, and we need the date here. So we'll go ahead and extract this guy. Uh, it's, it's asking which date I want, so I'll hit Alt-Enter. And it's the, the um, Java utility date. So we'll go ahead and grab this guy if it lets me import it. Uh, and this will be my delivery date, um, which is going to be what? It's going to be my cat delivery date view dot, and there's get date right here. Um, that actually get date, if I hover over that guy again, it actually returns a long. Okay, so so let's let's go ahead and, and store it as a long uh, for now, and then we can always uh, 
we can always convert it to a date. All right. So let's go ahead and now uh, set our current item. So my current item is equal to new item that's made out of my item constructor. It's been a while since we looked at it. it takes things just in that order, a name, a quantity, and then a date object. So my name, my quantity, which is an int, and then I need a date object. So I'm gonna make a date, and there is a date constructor that takes, uh, that takes a, a long. Um, which long it's going to take our delivery date right here. And I still need to import this guy. So got that back. All right, and then I want to show the current item. All right, pretty good. Uh, so let's let's review what we've done here. Um, I have all the code in here for a reference. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on here, so let's uh, let's just step through it again um, so you can see what's going on. Um, remember that, that what we did in the beginning is we made a builder and we, we returned um, a dialog from that builder that we got from calling create. And that's sort of like the bookends to this, right? Is, is set up your set up your builder. It's an inner class of alert dialog. Um, then I needed to set some things. Really the only things that I set were um, the view and then the buttons. Okay, so one button and there's my second button there for the negative. Uh, and then the rest of it involved, um, you know, details of each of those. So, so the view right here, um, we inflated it, set it, and then, you know, hey, when you go to capture these guys, make sure that you do view dot, right? Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna get the, the null pointer exception, like we mentioned there. Um, same thing for each of these guys. And when they click OK, then we're saying, hey, go ahead and, and grab out of those edit text, um, grab the name, grab the quantity, grab the date here and then make an item out of them. Uh, oh, it looks like I forgot something here. Uh, before I show it, I also want to remember this. So um, I want to keep track of, and we're going to do this for, um, for our next one, which is, which is searching. Um, I want to add those to a, a list. Uh, so I want to go ahead and make that array list right now. Uh, so let's see. Yep. Um, so back up here. So back in my, in this guy, I'm going to go ahead and make an array list of items. Uh, my items. I'll just let this be a new array list, like so. And then back down in my dialog, I uh, go ahead and items add uh, the, the current item. And we'll check it out. Okay, it came up here. Let's try it out. Um, so let's, once again, we're in this quest for coffee. So coffee two, and then I can, I can pick these guys right here and we will say, okay. There we go. Uh, and today's date is on there. Very good. We could clear it out again. Oh, didn't mean to get rid of the coffee. Just kidding. All right, so things still, still work fine. Um, if you got any bugs, I'd encourage you to go back and, and look at uh, what we had done before. Um, like look back at the slides, make sure that, that, uh, that you're good. All right, uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and add search functionality uh, when we come back.